Perfect. So happy Sunday. This call's my favorite. And I'm glad to see that we have like double the amount that we had on last week. So thanks you guys for putting it in your alarms, putting it in your phones and being here. I'm really excited because Sophie messaged me about halfway through the week and she said, can I share what I'm learning on my trainings? And in case you guys didn't know, the best way to learn something is to teach it. So you guys who are investing in any, um, I think, is it you, Stephanie? Did you invest in? Um, yes. Okay. So, you know, once you finish that training, anything you want to share with us, like let us know, because there are so many trainings in the M Life Nation and that, you know, are free on the internet everywhere. And we cannot all do all of them. So if you invest in something, you're willing to take notes, you want to share it on a Sunday call, that's what this is for. But we're going to do that towards the end. So um, what I want to start with today is if you have your planner or a piece of paper or take notes in your phone, but write, jot down some important dates and times, okay? And um, if you want to add anything on to like our team calendar, then let me know. But I am going to be doing a power hour Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday this week at 10 a.m. Central Time. So if 10 a.m. in the morning Central Time works for you, then hop on the Zoom. And what we do on the Power Hours is we just catch up or listen to one of the training videos that were sometime over the weekend or over the week that most of us missed. And then we just work for an hour while we do it. I do. I have a dentist appointment on March 1st at that time. So I, I won't be there in the morning, but um, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and maybe Friday, but I'll let you guys know on Friday. So I'm going to be doing a power hour. I was talking to Amanda and we feel like, and you guys tell me if this, if you guys feel like this is a good idea, but um, <clears throat> I'm noticing that a lot of people are joining other companies and they like tell me, oh, I don't have money. I don't have time. But then all of a sudden I find them part of another company and I'm like, what the heck? And the reason why they're doing that is because they have these opportunity calls that they invite people to every week. And I'm sure that some of you guys have invited or been invited to, to some because they're not being very thoughtful in the way that they're inviting people. They're just like mass spamming people to invite them to these calls. And not that that's not what I want to do, but I think it would be really beneficial for us to have a tool that we could invite people to learn about how to make money here at Modare and what sets it apart from regular MLM and doing this on a weekly basis, um, where it's the same Zoom, same time, keeping it 15 minutes, going through just like a quick presentation and maybe spotlighting a different person each week, share a little bit of their story. So like maybe I host, and then like one of you is a co-host in the sense of, you know, you just get to share your story and I'll do most of the work, but that way it kind of pushes you outside your comfort zone. Um, but also get you invested. And I think if we have like a weekly thing that we're like all, all of our potential social marketers, we can kind of plug them into that. I, do you guys think that would be a good idea? Okay. So my thought is Wednesdays. Um, Wednesdays are kind of tough for me because I have roller derby from six to eight o'clock mountain time. And so after eight o'clock mountain time, then it's 10, a, 10 PM Eastern time. And that's kind of late. And so I'm thinking like four or five mountain time. Um, but then that's kind of early that people are still getting home from work. And so um, I, I've still got to kind of experiment with the times and maybe we do, maybe we do them live on Facebook. Maybe we do, you know, a private Zoom or a webinar. Maybe we record it or I figure out how to do this evergreen thing or even, oh, do you know what we could do? Actually, because the stream yard, you can pre-record it. Well, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'm thinking Wednesdays. And the reason I'm thinking Wednesdays is because then we can always plug people into the Saturday call. You know what I'm saying? Like the Saturday call where they can hear people's like stories and hearts and where they came from. And like those people on the Saturday calls are always so well spoken. So I thought Wednesday would be a good night to do. Uh, here's how we make money type of call. And then Saturday, we still have that. So put that on your calendar as well. Saturday team call, it's at 11 a.m. Central time. Um, and that's just the call-in number. And I'm sure we'll have a Saturday call this week, but we won't have one next week because the week after that will be conference, okay? Um, 
Does anybody want to put something on the calendar to help hold themselves accountable for an evening power hour this week? Like, are there times that work best for you guys that you're like, listen, I, I know I got to get work done. So I'm committed to this day, this time. Anybody want to unmute and throw something out? Go ahead. <clears throat> Just don't do um, Wednesday. I, no. <laughs> Um, Wednesday's not available for me anyway. That's my meeting night. But um, I was thinking Tuesday, um, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For power hour? Yes. Okay. And you want to use this too? Yes. Perfect. That'll be good. Month end. Last day of the month. To get a push. Thank you, Sophie. And you guys, like, for me, I schedule power hours, whether people show up or not. Like, I'm still on my Zoom. I'm still playing personal development because that's an hour that works for me to sit down and do my work. And if people can show up, great. Like, let's work together. But if they can't arrange their schedules, I'm not like, oh, nobody showed up. I guess I'm not going to work. You know, I, I schedule all of my work around what works for me. And I hope that it works for maybe some people or they could make it work in their schedule. But but ultimately, we're all in business for ourselves. And we're going to talk about that a little bit today as far as um, how to set you guys up for success. So and then just make sure to write down next Sunday, we'll have another M crew Zoom 7 p.m. Um, on this Zoom. OK, so there's just a few power hours that I'm going to host and then um, team calls. And me and Megan and Sophie have actually been hopping on Zoom on Thursdays at 2 p.m. Central to make TikTok videos, which has kind of been fun. So if you wanna write that down Thursdays, 2 p.m. Central time, we just get on here. We don't even like talk or look at each other. <laughs> Most of the time we're all in different rooms and you just like see a blank screen because nobody's there, but we're like holding ourselves accountable to taking an hour or 30 minutes or however long you can stay on for to just make TikTok videos. And we draft as many as we can during that time, ask ideas, ask questions, that kind of thing. So if that's something you're interested in, then um, we do that Thursdays. Okay. Um, we next, do, oh, can we do a um, power hour tomorrow at seven central time. I'd be open to that. Mm -hmm. Signing in. Yep. Okay. And I'll give you uh, my host ID if you don't have it already, Stacey. Um, that way you can claim host. And, okay. you know, sometimes people don't know that they're unmuted or um, like, it, you know, and so sometimes it's nice to be the host because then you can mute people if you need to and if they don't know. And just so everybody knows, if you click on participants, um, there should be like sort of three dots and that's where it should say like claim host. And so if you ever want to use this Zoom for anything, you can use it and claim the host, just punch in the host key and, you, and then you have it. Okay, um, next thing. I want to talk about now that we've done power hours and calls is conference. So I'm going to screen share on my phone and hope that this continues to work like it is. <clears throat> but if you guys are going to in-person conference, we already talked about the schedule and we have it in there. And I mean, obviously we're going to do be doing most of the things that are on the schedule, but you guys who are at home, <laughs> it's kind of, <laughs> Frustrating. I don't know if frustrating is the right word, but like you guys are, you guys are your own business owners and us as leaders, we try to do the best that we can to relay the information. But unless if you make time to be on the calls, to read the documents, to read the emails, like read the, the, the frequently asked questions or fine print, you don't really know what's going on in your own business. Like, is that, is that okay for me to say, unless if you're being plugged in, you don't know what's going on. And if you want to be a successful business owner, you need to know what's going on. And if you had a job or a conference with a full-time salary job, it would be non-negotiable. You would have to go to that conference to get training. And so it just kind of blows my mind that there are so many people who haven't registered for this conference and you don't even have to go there in person that you can do it virtually and it's going to be recorded. So you know, as long as you get into the Facebook group, if the times don't necessarily work for you live, you can always go back and watch the recordings, but like they only do this once a year. And it's a really big deal when you're a business owner. This is where you really get to feel 
the vision of the company. You get to know who the leaders are. You get so many tips and tricks as far as how to be successful. And I've gone to eight conferences because I've been um, in this type of industry for eight years now. But I, so I've been to eight conferences and every single one of them, you just leave so fired up and so excited and ready to change the world. <laughs> and, you know, as silly as that sounds, it's true for those of you who have been to them. And if you really want to grow your business, you need that fire. You need the belief in the products. You need the belief in the company. You need the belief in yourself. And you get all of that from conference. And so I really, really hope that if you haven't made arrangements, that you make arrangements tonight to make sure that you can be a part of this. So um, if you go to buzz.shiftingretail.com and then you go to events, right here is the virtual uh, agenda. So like I said, I'm not going to go over the in-person one because um, we, we already have a group chat and we've gone over that. Um, but here it is. Okay. So for general session, number one, how cool is it that John and Nadia get to open up the whole entire conference? Like our uplines get to be the openers of conference. Um, so it says that, you know, we're going to start with John and Nadia, and then we're going to hear from Ozma and Jane Frederick about project 23. And that's where we're going to learn the name of it. And we're going to see the packaging and the branding of all of that stuff. So I'm super excited for that. And then um, they're going to have a panel, which is going to be teaching us more about this Project 23. And for those of you that don't know, this is the first of many to come of this women's health line. So it's not just going to start stop at like the menstrual formula, the menstrual formula and the menopause formula. We're going to be getting other products to really help support women's health here. And so like this is a whole new product category line that we're going to have with Modere. Um, then we're going to have another panel talking about systems to help you scale your business. And so that is on March 10th from 9 to 12 p.m. And you need to make sure that you click this link right here, and that's going to get you into the Facebook group. I didn't know that. So I'm so glad that I checked the buzz today, and I just barely um, asked to join. So my membership is, is pending there. Oh, gosh. Now where did it go? Okay, <clears throat> so you guys need to put that in your planners. On March 10th, 9 to 12, this is Eastern time because we're gonna be in North Carolina, okay? Um, then they're doing a game show night and how fun that you guys can participate in this even being virtual, okay? So plan to be on this. This is 7.30 to 10. Doors open at 7.15, so um, it's going to be inside the retail group, so they'll probably be streaming something or um, like have like StreamYard going, or maybe they'll be sending the Zoom link so that way you can get on live. So that's going to be on that Friday night. And then Saturday is our second session, so we're going to have a panel teaching us how to refocus, reinvent, and relaunch. We're going to have Ozma again to walk us through the company's history and share a vision of what's to come. Oh my gosh, that just gave me chills. Like I need to know the vision of this company. That's a huge reason why I joined because I, I, I saw the vision that she was casting, but I'm excited to hear what's to come. Um, and then we're going to have some announcements and then um, another session from Tony and Sarah Zalecki. Oh my gosh, so cool. Um, so that's nine to 12 on Saturday. And then general session three is from two to five. So those are the times that you need for you guys who are virtual. Does anybody have any questions about conference? Where did you find this? Um, I know buzz. I know the buzz, but where exactly? Events. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. So buzz and then events. Okay. Any questions about conference? Go ahead. Do we have to pay for that virtual uh, conference? Do we pay for that? Who's talking? Brandy. Oh, I was like scrolling through. I'm like, you sound like Ashley. Ashley said that she wasn't getting on. Um, I believe that the virtual one is like 49, 59, 69, or 79. I don't okay. know. It's it ends in a nine. Okay. <laughs> Anywhere I think early it's board 79, was, 99. Okay. I think early board was like 49, but then the ones that came after, I think it's 79. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Um, any other questions about conference? And I would love if you guys like hopped on Zoom and streamlined it together, you guys who couldn't be there. So that way you can still be there together and like chat in the Zoom, you know, chat box with each other. I think that'd be really cool for those of you who are going to do virtual. Um, and you're welcome to use this Zoom to do that. Okay. Um, all right. Next thing that's going on this week. Once again, if you go into the buzz, you can click on current promotions and it's going to tell you what's going on. And so for those of you who missed it, we do have an end of month promo happening tomorrow. Okay. And so this is really awesome. You can go through and you can read all the frequently asked questions and it tells you, cause some of you guys are like, well, what about the people who already ordered this month? What about my existing customers? What about new customers? What about me? Can I get this deal? All of those answers are right in here. And as business owners, look for your own answers, right? Just don't ask the questions and expect somebody else to know the answer. You are the CEO. And so um, starting tomorrow at what time does it say? 9 a.m. Mountain time through February 28th at 11.59 p.m. or while surprise lasts, which, well, I guess because the, they're giving away free products. Um, anybody who orders over $100 is going to get free shipping. Okay, that goes for you. It goes for your new customers. It goes for your existing customers. Anyone who does it, it has to be a one-time order. It can't be on a subscription. They get um, free shipping. Now, anybody who buys either the menstrual or the menopause product are gonna get a free bag of chocolate chews. And those are unlimited. So if you buy three of the menopause formulas, you're gonna get three bags of chews for free with your order, okay? And that's only for US, Canada and NFR. I don't know what NFR is, but I don't, I guess I don't need to worry about it. Um, and then you get a free trim salted caramel for anybody who does the collection. So if you do the menstrual or the menopause with the tray biotic and you put in that collection, you're gonna automatically get a free salted caramel trim. Now, the exciting thing about this, I, lo I love when I see them start giving away products because if they're giving away all of the salted caramel trim, do you know what that means? We're gonna get a new flavor soon, which is always so exciting, right? Um, and the chocolate chews, those were only limited time. If you guys have never tried those, they taste like Tootsie Rolls. They are delicious, okay? Um, so definitely a good deal. Making sure that your customers know of this deal, making sure that your potentials know of this deal, making sure that you know of this deal. I know for me, I, I held off putting in my order because I wanted to know what the end of month promo was. And so tomorrow on my husband's account, I'm taking advantage of it all, the free shipping and all of the extra freebies. Okay, so um, any questions on the promo? Here is the stacking order. So they're gonna get the shipping credit, the free gift, the share the love, so that's the $20 off, subscribe and save, that's your five, 10 or 15% and then your loyalty match. So it takes off your, your discounts in that order. <clears throat> okay, and no promo code is needed. It's gonna automatically add it in at checkout. Okay, so that's what's going on with the company. That's what's going on with the team. Now I wanna kind of get into what's gonna go on with you guys this week. So going back to, you guys are your own business owner. Um, some of you do this thing where you start, stop, start, stop, start, stop your business. Yes, anyone feeling kind of guilty? I see some head shaking. You, you. You can start stopping. Are you calling me out, ma'am? <laughs> you cannot get momentum with a start stop business ethic, you guys. You can't. And so that has to stop now. Has to. If you, I mean, you're on this call, you're giving me an hour of your time tonight. You have to stop this. And and I'm a green personality. So I just assume that everybody needs a spreadsheet and it will fix all of your problems. I'm going to encourage you guys to use a spreadsheet this week and see how things change, okay? We are about to start a new week, Monday, with a great promotion to end our month strong, and then we get a brand new month in March, right? Like March starts on Wednesday. 
And for so many of us, we're like, okay, it's a new month. I'm going to do it. And we always say that how you end the month is how you're going to start the month. So I feel like this is the perfect week, right? We're going to end the month super strong with the next two days. And we're going to have a system that's going to launch us to help us go through for the next rest of the week. Okay. And there's no more start stopping. Now, how do you stop doing that? Is you have to create a system that will set you up for success. Okay. We all have busy lives. Some of you guys are working multiple jobs. Some of you guys have sick people that you're taking care of. Some of you have um, significant others that need your time and attention. Some of you have kids that need your time and attention. Some of you guys are going to get sick this week. Some of you guys might go to the hospital or know somebody in the hospital, right? Like things are going to happen. So you have to set yourself up for success. So a couple of things that I do to set myself up for success is um, I'm the kind of person where I do work in like the nooks and crannies of my day, like here and there. But I need to have a focused hour where I know that I have that hour to just get done as much as I possibly can. And then if that's all I do for the day, that's okay because I got my work done. Like I got done with the meat and potatoes of what I needed to do. Now, some of you guys don't have that where you could sit down for an hour. Some of you guys do and you could make the time, but you let yourself get distracted because you want to vacuum, because you want to do the dishes, because there's other things that need your attention instead of making work your priority, you do those other things as an excuse. I see Stacy nodding her head. I love it. Because I, you guys, I do the same thing. I'm like, oh, I have to do a referral post. I'm like, oh, there's like these little specks on the ground. So I think I should vacuum first. Oh, and then if I vacuum, then I should turn on all the senses in my house. So my house smells good. Well, now I got to change them all out. It's like the, if you give a mouse a cookie type thing, right? And, and so we have to make business a priority. So what works for me is number one, scheduling the time. I already told you Monday through Thursday, I'm going to be, or besides the time when I'm at my dentist appointment, but I have an hour scheduled basically Monday through Friday, where I make sure that I get my work done during that hour. And then I'm working in the nooks and crannies of my day. So I want you guys just to think about your schedule this week. If you still have your planner out, I just want you to just like circle or write down the times that you personally can, can put towards work. Maybe that's during your lunch break. Maybe that's 15 minutes earlier um, than when you normally wake up. Or maybe instead of watching a show or doing something like that, then, then you're going to work during that time. So first thing is you got to figure out time. And then after you figure out the time, then you have to figure out what is most important for me to do during that time. Because there's something called um, income producing activities. And then there's something called busy work. I find myself sometimes doing the busy work and my husband comes home and he's like, Oh, what'd you do today? I'm like, Oh my gosh, I was so busy all day. And I name off all of this stuff. And I'm like thinking about it. I'm like, but I didn't even get a single new lead. I didn't get anybody to tell me yes for my products or my business. So what did I do all day? I did a lot of busy work. I didn't do the actual things that were going to help me move my business forward. I did the easy things. So once you have your time set, then you want to decide what am I going to fill that time with. So let me screen share with you guys. <clears throat> like I said, made a lot of lists and made a lot of um, Google Sheets. And I want you guys to pick one, customize it to make it your own and use it this week and see how things change. Okay. So it is this sheet right here that is daily method of operations. And there are a whole bunch of tabs here at the bottom with different ones. So you get to go with the one that you like the best, and then you can edit to be your personal things that you know need to happen. Okay, so this one is set up so that way um, you have one sheet to last you for the whole week. You don't do everything every day. But the days that you do the things, you put X's on them. And so then that way you can see, you know, why are you not signing social marketers? Well, how many social biz potential business partners, you know, did you reach out to that day? Why are you not signing customers? Well, how many um, referral posts do, are you getting up? And so this, this is just like a tracker of all the things I could possibly think of that could help you bring in new leads and work your business. And then you just X off on the days that you do them. Okay. Um, daily method of operations versus IPAs. 
So on the left side, the back office, the giveaway post, referral post, message 20 about products, uploading TikToks and Reels, um, those are income producing activities. The happy birthday, the engaging, the uploading story slides, inviting people to a group, those are like daily method of operations. We should do that on a daily basis, right? But both need to be done. But this is what I would do in a power hour, these types of things. Okay, so you do these things. You've got Monday, Tuesday. You'll notice that some of them are a little bit different. Like sometimes you're messaging about products. Sometimes you're following up. Sometimes you're really focused on referral posts, but this kind of breaks it up for you. Um, weekly work. This is the one that I'm using. I have it printed. Um, it's, I mean, it's very similar to the last one. Um, spot for notes. Up at the top, I keep track of my organizational points, my customer volume, new customers. I put a little tally mark there and then new social marketers put little tally marks there as I enroll during that week. Okay. Happy birthdays, Facebook story slides, Instagram newsfeed story slides. I put Wednesday opportunity zoom because I'm going to make sure that I do that on Wednesdays. Um, okay. If you were brand new, you might want to use this one. Okay. You decide how many referral posts you get up. You decide how many people you ATM, and then you can keep track of your messages. How many connection messages did you send that day? How many referral posts did you get up that day or ask people to make for you? Um, how many people did you ask if they would be interested in trying your products or interested in your business? How many did you follow up with? And so I put two columns here because sometimes I like to keep track of how many I actually messaged and then how many actually responded because maybe I need to change my message. If I'm sending out hundreds of messages and nobody's responding to me, maybe my message isn't very good. Maybe my approach isn't working. Okay, so there are four different sheets there that you guys can use. And all you do is you can just come in here. If you click on these three dots and then you click share and export, you can actually make a copy. Do you see that there at the bottom? If you wanted to like edit it electronically, you could make a copy and then you would be able to make it your own. Um, or you can just print it straight from here, whatever page you like. Okay. So um, then here at the end, I have a leads list. So you can keep track of the people who tell you yes. And then you can keep track of your enrollments. So name, what they ordered, what the, what the points total was. Did you do a thank you post? Did they receive their order? And then did you get them to reorder? You know, get them on that subscribe and save. And then there's some extra boxes in case you want to like send a thank you card or make a story slide, you know, if you need to check off anything else. Okay. Do you guys think that this will be helpful? Any questions about it? So I don't have that in my phone. Do I download the sheets, the Google Sheets? Okay, so I just posted it there in the Zoom and I will okay. post it in the M Crew chat right now as well. And that way you guys have it, but it is also in the boards under social marketer tools. The link is in there as well. Now, I started by saying I wanted you guys to, to we're going to stop doing the start, stop, start, stop. So if your to-do list looks like I made a post, I sent my happy birthday messages, and I used my products. If that's your everyday to-do list for this week, because that's all you know that you can do consistently without start stopping, that is fine. Okay. You don't have to fill all the lines. You don't have to have a dozen boxes to check because sometimes that's overwhelming. For me, I have an hour where I get to sit down and work every single day because I've arranged my schedule that way. And so I know during an hour, I can get all those things done. If you don't have the time to do that, you need to change it and not feel like you have to do the same as me. I'm in a totally different place than everybody on here, just like you are, right? Like I've been doing this for eight years. Some of you guys have been, I don't, I think Amanda, I know Amanda's been doing it for eight, but I don't think anybody has more than eight years here besides us. And some of you guys maybe did another business before, but you didn't have any structure. You still didn't know what you were doing, right? And so this is your chance. To, to, to start being a business owner, okay? So can you guys commit? 
when we get on next Sunday that, that you're going to bring, you're going to show me your sheet. So look, I told you I had mine printed, right? So here we are. Let's see if I can make me big. <clears throat> oh, it's made brandy big on my end. There we go. Okay, so I printed mine right here. Tomorrow when I wake up or, or before I go to bed tonight, I can write down my goal. I can write down my volumes and I'm ready to go for Monday. And then I have my follow-up sheet for February, which mine looks like this. And then I've got my bill ink one already ready to go for March. And I love working my business with just a clipboard because I'm, I'm gonna be subbing in the schools tomorrow. So I bring my clipboard with my follow-up sheet, with my task list, right? Like if I'm working, if I'm traveling, I just keep it all on my clipboard. I got this clipboard from the dollar store. And this is, this is my office. Wherever my clipboard is, is where my office is. And this has really helped me. I've been using this system for like the last six years and it has really helped me stay consistent. Okay. And there are days where I fall short and I don't do everything that I said I was going to do, but that's why I make sure on the weekends, it's like catch up. What did I not check off this week? And then making sure to check it off. Okay. Now, the last thing I want to show you, and then I'm going to give it over to Sophie. Um, and Valerie asked a really good question. Personal development. Cur curious what everyone's reading or listening to. You all want to unmute or um, write it in the chat. And maybe when you do your personal development. While I bring up the next thing, if anyone wants to unmute, please do. So I usually do my self-development. Um, I usually do a devotion before I leave for work. And then on my way to work, I either pop on the book I'm listening to, or I really enjoy like the YouTube um, clips, like what I've been sharing in the M crew. Um, but it's usually like first thing in the morning, just because that's, that's how I need to start my day. Um, just with a clear mind, because I, yeah, that's just what really works best for me. Um, and I go on and off and I listen to like my audible books um, from the audible app, but I like listen to my books over and over. Um, so I have probably like 10 books that I just listen to over and over. Um, and that's just what I like to do. And I, I do the same thing. I listen to mine every morning as I'm getting ready. And, um, and obviously you guys know, I listen to Trent Sheldon. He is a big one that I just, I don't know. I just love listening to his podcasts and his YouTube. So that's what I, that's what's been motivating me. Thank you guys for sharing. Okay. Last tip I have for you guys. So what I do, um, I have a group on Facebook called the get fit club. And on the last Sunday of every month, I sit down and I schedule all of my posts for the month. So today I was very, very busy. Um, I went in here. I don't know where it is on my phone. Anyway, I went in here and scheduled all of my posts. And then while I was scheduling my posts, um, I hired a VA and um, he makes posts for me on my business page. And it's been taking him like an hour to make a post. And I'm like, I cannot pay you an hour to make a post for me. And so I was like, while I'm already scheduling all my posts for the month, why don't I create some posts for him to make? And so inside of here, um, I just did a little folder called posting content. And maybe this is something that can help you guys. Cause I don't really work my business like crazy on Sundays. Like I just do what I want to do on Sundays. And then I do this call, but I'm not actively messaging or doing referral posts or anything like that but I do like to prep my week on Sundays. And so like here, I've got this post for him to make on Monday with this photo. And then I've got this recipe for him to share with the photo. Um, Wednesday, I said leg day got me like, and then I um, found this funny meme, right? And so why not create a folder in your own board called posting content? If you know that posts are hard for you, and do the posting challenge that I gave you guys last week. That's like Monday, do a motivational quote. Tuesday, do a testimonial. Wednesday, do something that you that you won, like you you want to celebrate or you want to like introduce somebody or, you know, whatever. And then Thursday, whatever it is. And then Friday, maybe something funny, whatever it is. 
And I went to the Live Clean Tribe and I just scrolled and like I found this one in the Live Clean Tribe. I didn't write any of it. I found that in the Live Clean Tribe and with this photo. There is so much content. And then um, I searched, uh, what did I search? I don't even know what I searched, but I searched on Facebook and this post popped up. Um, I think I searched hashtag keep going. I think that's what it is because it says keep going at the bottom Um, because I wanted something motivational to post on Monday and this post popped up and I was like, this is a freaking awesome post. I don't even know who posted it, right? I changed the emojis to be a little black girl because I'm not going to post the white, you know, because I'm not. And so you got to change the emojis around. You got to make sure that it, that it sounds like you, but you guys can literally search anything on Facebook anything on the internet, anything in the live clean tribe, and you can just create your posting content for the week. It's going to save you so much time. Then the other thing that I do in my own personal board is I have captions. And so anytime I post a reel that is a recipe, this is what gets posted with it. Anytime I post a reel about the trim, this is what gets posted with it. Anytime I post a reel about the business, anytime I post a reel about working out, and so like, I don't have to, like, that's why I can be so efficient because I took time today and I took time in the past that once I wrote a post, then I was like, Hey, every time I'm just going to use this, the same one over and over and over again. So I have a little folder in here called captions. Um, like I said, in my get fit club, I scheduled my posts. And so on Sundays, we do a little small talk Sunday on Mondays. I do the workout of the week. And so I just saved the, basically the template of the posts that I make every week. And then I just have to switch out, you know, what the actual workout is and some of the links. But um, this is, this has made my life so much easier. And then the last thing I'll tell you, um, business posts. Okay. You guys ever scroll and you like see people in other businesses or maybe in our business. I know I go scroll Amanda's page all the time and I'm like, okay, I need that business post. If you guys see posts that you like, that you know you want to post later that just like hit you the right way, save them to your board. Make a folder that's business posts, make a folder that's product posts and save the photos and save the pictures. And inside the M crew boards, you guys, there's posting ideas. There is endless ideas and different kinds of posts for you to make in here. And so you, you shouldn't be overwhelmed with, I don't know what, or like, I don't know what to post. You should be overwhelmed with, I have so much to post about. I don't even know what to post about, you know? And so if you're feeling like that's one of the reasons why you start, stop, start, stop, figure out what your, what your pillars are. So for me, it's mindset, nutrition, and exercise. I do mindset every day. I eat every day and I work out every day. And so my posting content is around those three things. I know that Sophie does crocheting. I know that um, Kayla works at a hotel. I know that Amanda has dogs, you know? And so whatever, whatever your pillars are, whatever is your life, make three folders. And anytime you see posts like that, because obviously you're following people that may have the same likes and interests that you, that you have, if they make a post that makes you laugh, then make it your own. In fact, I'll tell you, my my Facebook algorithms are crazy right now. Um, I'm getting so many likes and comments, and it's only because I've seen some posts that have made me laugh, and I've posted them as my own. So this one right here, so this video, okay, I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, oh, <gasps> like scary, right? Like this is a long I eighty, like this chick or guy, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, and so I just did a remix. You couldn't even see me because I was laying in bed when I was watching this. And I just put some like, little things at the bottom and look, 10.1K views. I didn't even make that content, right? And I'm benefiting from it with my algorithms that are going crazy. Um, I was scrolling social media and um, I saw, I have to show you, it's the funniest one ever. This one <laughs> on February 14th. Instead of sharing it to my, like it made me laugh. And so I saved the picture and I posted it as my own. If it makes you laugh, it's going to make your people laugh. Like 146 shares, 662 likes. Now I go through these likers and I invite people to follow my page. I didn't even create that content. Okay, last one I have to show you. 
And then Sophie, it's all yours because this one is hilarious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so if something makes you laugh, remix it, um, save it as your own, post it as your own and just have fun with it. Okay. All right, Sophie. So we're going to, we're going to kind of shift gears. We'll kind of shift and we're going to talk about videos. So Sophie did the video challenge with Mark H. I can't remember his last name and I did it too. I know, I think that maybe some of you guys did, but right now, um, Nobody, I know that you guys don't want to do videos. I know nobody wants to do videos, but that's what social media wants you to do right now. So if you want to go viral, like if you want to like get more eyes on your page, videos is how you do it. And I did this video challenge because I'm like, I'm trying to do videos, but I don't know what to say. I don't know how to be. I don't know what I'm like. So I needed video challenge help, which is why I subscribed to this five day course that he did and it was free we didn't have to pay for it um so if you want to get better at something you gotta do a little training whether it's from youtube or whether it's from something that somebody's putting on and then you got to implement what you learned so sophie's going to share um some tips to help us all be better at videos okay um okay here we go Um, really? Why did it have to do that now? Jeez. Okay, there we go. Um, jeez, <clears throat> uh, I learned how to, where is, oh, slideshow, here we go. Here we go. All right, so, Mark was, um, I'm sorry. I you you guys are in my way, so I'm trying to move you out of the way. <gasps> hide video panel. There we go. And hide floating. Okay. So I uh, I these are all snapshots I took of his um his slides that he showed. So they they're not perfect. But um the first thing he showed, and I put this in the um, MGS ch um, chat, but I'm not sure if you guys saw it. The, there are five things to create. There's a five pillar format to creating videos. First, you have to have your hook. Then you set the hook, have a call to action, a first call to action, a high quality, high value content, and then a final call to action. And these are very, the, the um, call to actions are very important because people will see the video and they'll like the video, but they don't, they won't know what to do. So you have to tell them what to do. Um, then, he, so these are some examples of your first call to actions. Um, you won't believe what happens next. The results will shock you. Um, this one simple trick changed my every, everything for me. You won't want to miss this. This might be the most important video you'll ever watch. And, you know, insert the topic of what you're going to talk about. Um, and this is really, really key to keep your audience um, engaged. Because if you don't, if you don't um, say something like that or give them a hook, they won't be inclined to keep watching your video and that's what you want. You want them to watch your video. So um, these are some uh, uh, hooks in form of a question. Are you ready to blank? Are, do you want to learn the specifics, the secret to achieving a specific result? Are you tired of a, you know, whatever problem that is? Are you making these mistakes in whatever area? And are you struggling with an insert um, problem? Um, now, now comes the part for you to set the hook. Right there, Sophie. Are you, yeah. Um, so you guys, um, if you ever, so if you guys go to your Facebook, if you have a second device open, you know how it has like the reels at the top of it. If you scroll past there, the ones that you are going to stop on are the ones that have words on the screen. Just try it out right now. 
the ones that you're going to stop on are the ones that have like this one right here. Like I, I didn't, like it just says attention tech network marketers. Like it made me stop to read it. This one right here that I made, is just a picture of a glass of water. I'm not even stopping on it. And so it's so silly, but I started doing this where I just like, like today I made pot roast and for my hook, because I did this challenge, I'm trying to implement what I learned. I said, you want to know what the secret ingredient is. And that's what I wrote at the very beginning of my slide. And that's what I like have for like my, my stop on photo, because how many people are going to watch that now? Because they want to know what the secret ingredient is. Mm -hmm. And so all of this time for the last two, three years, I've been making all of these reels and I'm getting like anywhere between like 10 and 200 views on most of them. The ones that do the best are the ones that you just put like a little hook on at the very beginning. And those were great examples. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. No problem. Um, oh, let me go back to my slideshow. Uh, okay. Now, now he's setting the hook. Are you tired of not losing weight? Wait, no matter how you try, worse yet, it seems like you even look at a piece of cake and you start gaining weight. And then you tell what the video, what is the video is going to be talking about. Um, now the first, the, the, the first call to action the purpose of it is to encourage the, um, people to view your content, like I said earlier before. And you want them engaged. So like um, uh, Tamika just said, put words in there. And, and another thing that he encouraged us to do was to use the caption feature of a video. When you when you have make a video and you're talking in the video, use the caption and because a lot of people when they're watching these videos, when you're watching these reels or these videos, they have it on mute. So if you have the um, captions going, it's easier for them to see what you're saying because a lot of them watch them while they're at work and they can't have it out loud. So the captions are really important for them. Um, a first call to action. Don't forget to, sub to subscribe and hit the notification bell as I put out videos regular on a regular basis and I don't want you to miss out. Don't miss out on future videos. Click subscribe and save. Um thanks for watching. If you want to see more, click subscribe button and get notified when I put up new videos. Those are call to actions for the video for your videos, especially if you're doing YouTube videos or if you're doing lives. Um and then you have your high quality content. Um and, and this is considered to be the particular value particularly valuable or useful to the viewer. And this can be based on anything that you, anything, any content that you want to talk about, but make sure that your call to action and your, not your call to action, your hook is related to the video. Because if you, um, if it's not related, then you're not gaining people's trust. So make sure that they are all connected. Um, and it, the value, the goal of the um, that the mm, the goal of high value content is to deliver promise stated in the hook. Like I just said, leave the viewer with a positive experience. Um, feel there should be they should be educated and informed, and you want to want them to feel inspired or motivated, entertaining, and impressed with your expertise. And one of the the things that he helped us to use in order to find content was the, um, uh, oh my goodness, I forgot it that quickly. I'm sorry. Um, chat GPT? No, not chat, chat GPT you have to pay for. I don't oh, know okay. why, yeah, so but um, answer the public. Answer the, answer the public. That was it. Um, and, Answer the public. This is what answer the public looks like. I just I was doing my con video content while I was um, waiting for um, the meeting to start, and for my Wellness Wednesday, I wanted to know the importance of the benefits of breakfast. So you just type in your benefits of breakfast in here, and all these things, these different links come up, and you click on one of the the links. 
um, like click on here, what are the benefits of breakfast? And a whole host of things come up. And you can choose from there. Um, and you got your content right there. And um, the thing with um, Answer the Public, you can use it um, for free. And if you create an account, you get three searches. If you don't create an account, you only get one search a day. So keep that in mind. The account, creating the account is free. So you can get two to three searches. Um, I mean, three searches per day when you create your account. Okay, back to my video, sorry. Um, now, um, and the goal of, goal of the high quality, high value video is to add value to your viewers, plain and simple. Um, and the final call to action examples can be, click the link in the description to visit our website and learn more. Head to our website to sign up for free videos, you know, things like that. Go to our website, click the link. That's what co final call to actions are. But this is what I wanted to show you all really so um, valuable. Um, your content for engagement. These are our different things that you can use to help um, with your content for engagement. You can give your opinion on a controversial topic challenge conventional wisdom on a topic. And the one thing he said about challenge conventional wisdom is if you're going to do that, make sure what you're saying is right or is correct. Because if you don't, then you lose your audience. How to content, like what Tanika did today of how to bake her, um, whatever she was making today, um, case studies or your opinion on a trending topic. And he said the opinion on a, on trending topics is really, really a good one to use because he, he's done that and he's gotten so many views on his videos. Now, um, six reasons you should repurpose your videos. It's coming, guys. It's coming. Keep watching. Expand your reach. Diversifies your content. Maximize time and effort. Provides more traffic. Creates an omnipresence and social content ranks in search. So um, this one blew my mind. Um, when you're doing like YouTube videos, um, I know Tamika does YouTube videos a lot or she does her lives and she put them on, video, on um, YouTube. When you do that, it gives you a transcript of what you say in your video, word for word. Look, let me hide this because you guys really need to see this. You can take content from the video transcript and look how many um, oh, look how many, um, where in, la, 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 la. sorry, 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 y'all. Where did it go? Look how many, um, pieces of content you can get from this one video. You can get, no, this is a video part. I'm sorry. From a, a one video, you can put it on YouTube, Facebook. Twitter, LinkedIn, and then from that video, you can take snippets of, of that video and put it on TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Facebook. Um, I, I think this was, um, I don't remember what that was, but um, Twitter and Pinterest. And from that one video, you have 34 pieces of content from that one um, video that you did with your hook and your um, hook line and everything like that. Then from the transcript one, you can get 41 pieces of content because you're going to take the, uh, the, um, the uh, transcript from your video and you're going to use three to five quote reels and quote reels. You ever heard those, see those videos where um, they have like a, um, um, like a uh, music to it and then they just put the words on the video and the and and it like you use the 
the um the voice part of it and it like like it's in like a wave of the sea or whatever and you take three or four three or five contents from that particular um transcript and you make it into a reel a, a tiktok a um uh ig reel facebook reel youtube shorts twitter pinterest and then you can use even use those posts those um transcript for and make them into facebook posts tweets tw um uh, quote cards y'all and you can even turn it into a blog take everything that from that transcript and make it into a blog just change up the words a little bit to make it into a blog i mean i thought this was phenomenal and then hold on hold on i'm gonna i'm gonna stop you real quick because okay. um i i feel like most people aren't even close to this yet and so um if if you've never made a video before you guys what repurposing is is repurposing is where you put it in multiple places Okay. So anytime I make a video, I, I personally prefer to make my videos on TikTok. It's the first place that I learned how to make them. So I make a video on TikTok. I save the link. I go take off the watermark. And then I, I take that video. I put it on my Instagram. I put it on my story slides. I put it on my Facebook pages. I put it on my YouTube shorts. Now, most of you guys don't have all of those platforms. So you just put it wherever you're at. You do not need to have a blog. You don't need to start a YouTube channel. If, if you don't want one, you don't need to. I'm not on Pinterest. I'm not, I'm not writing blogs right now. Um, but you start at start, right? And if all you have is Facebook, then you learn how to make a reel on Facebook, you know, and then you learn how to put that reel in your stories, right? Like that's starting at start. Um, <clears throat> and then this, what she's got up here, the hook, set the hook. This is going to help you have more interaction and more views and more success. But even if you don't get this, like he was even saying, how long did he say he's been doing video content? Like 15 years mm -hmm. and he's still learning yes. and he's still getting better. So you never, ever, ever are going to become proficient at this, but like these are tips to help you be more successful. So do the work once. And then, I mean, think about it. If you go live. So I wanted to give this tip when Sophie's talking about going live. Um, one thing that I do even now is I take a little piece of paper or a sticky note and I write down some bullet points and you guys can put it right over top of your face. So that way you don't even have to look at yourself talk because normally when you do a live video, you're looking at yourself, right? But now you can look at your note card. Okay. And so you're like, all right, like, um, you have some going to hook about breakfast and be like, well, today I'm going to tell you the five benefits to eating breakfast and people love it when you tell them the number. Okay. Because they're like, Ooh, like I'm going to get five keys. I'm going to get five. Like numbers are huge. Like, let me give you the three-step process. Let me tell you the five ways to do this. Let me tell you the 12 strategies for, um, or 12 foods to eat for better gut health. Like people are going to watch all of them because they want to get all however number you said. So that's super powerful. Um, and so if you just write that on a sticky note, put it over your face, put it next to your camera, then you can do your live video. You don't have to have it all memorized at all. Like you can literally like read off your pieces. And I always forget to do call to actions. So sometimes before I do a video, I'm like, okay, I want them to drop this number if they ate breakfast today, or I want them to, you know, tell me what their favorite breakfast food is. And so sometimes I'll write like some questions that I want to ask the audience. And even if nobody's on, I still ask the questions and say, Hey, even when you're catching the replay, make sure to tell me the answers because you do want to get people commenting on your video. So that way it'll be shown to more people. Okay. So I just wanted to add in those couple pieces too. And then just let you guys know that, like, I know that most of you guys are starting at start and video content is so powerful right now. So I would hope that, that you would give it a try and use these strategies that Sophie's teaching. So go ahead, Sophie. Sorry. Oh, that was, that was the, um, extent of it. Um, this one is a little bit more advanced. You can take the video and turn it into a podcast, but like the, Tam Tamika said, if you're not used to that, don't even think about that right now. And, um, basically just a review when you're doing your videos, you want to set a hook. I mean, you want to have a hook, set the hook, have a first call to action, a high, val then your high value content, and then a final call to action. And that's sort of what I learned. <laughs> and how long should the videos be? 
Do you want to talk about that? Um, it should be. So the first video, the hook should be about one to three seconds. Setting the hook three to eight seconds. Um, first call to action, about 10 seconds. High value content, three to 20 minutes. And the final call to action, 10 to 12 seconds. So if you were very first going to try your first video, it, maybe five minutes or less, mm -hmm. right? You're like, yeah. you know, your, your hook is just a sentence to get them drawn in. You're setting the hook is going to prepare them for what they're going to see. You're going to tell them a quick thing to do. One thing that Fraser Brooks always says, he says, says, drop a five in the chat for a virtual high five. That's his first call to action on all of his videos. And then create your high value content. So what are the tips that you're going to share? And then what do you want them to do with this tip? So one thing that Sophie shared is go to the website, go to the website, go to the website. We don't have websites, right? Like we're not going to send them to our Modair website. So where do you want people to go? Most of the time you want them to drop a word in the comment, or you want them to send you a personal message, or, you know, you want to invite them to one of our groups that we already have on Facebook, right? And so just think about where do you want to funnel your people into? And you don't even have to like a call to action could just be for them to, to drop something in the comments that's going to help boost your algorithm so more people can see it, you know? And then eventually maybe you guys want to get into some freebies. You can be like, hey, your call to action is go to the link in my bio and, you know, click on this and you're going to get a free worksheet to help you with this, you know? So, all right. Thank you, Sophie. I appreciate it. One, one have... more thing I just wanted yeah. to say. Tamika, um, for those of you that are um, apprehensive about doing videos, one of the strategies that he did or he gave us was to create a Facebook page, but that Facebook page is just for you. It's it, Nobody else should be in that Facebook page. And you go on that um, page and you create create some videos and post it there. That way you're getting used to making videos and then you're getting used to posting. That that Facebook page should be private to just you and just use that Facebook page to practice. That's it. Thank you, so much. And you know, the other thing too, is you can actually set the privacy on your videos to only you. And so you could literally do a live video that nobody else could see. And then if you like it, then you could change the, privacy to public, right? It's another yes. way. So um, I wanna challenge you guys to do one video this week. One video. Um, one thing that me and Kayla and Megan are doing, and if anybody wants to, wants to join us, um, we're gonna start doing live videos together, kind of like Stacy and Nicole do. They do like Clubhouse where they just like chit chat back and forth. Um, and so we're gonna set some times and like just, hop on Zoom, chit chat back and forth and live stream it and talk about mindset and talk about nutrition and talk about supplements. And we're going to like just work together as a team, chit chatting and doing more live videos. And so if any of you guys want to do it, like reach out, let me know um, or do it with each other. And then the other thing is like, make note of what videos you're watching. All of us watch videos, right? Why are you staying on a video where it has no sound? What about those captions are keeping you watching that video, right? Some like, what about you made you watch until the very end? I had this video go viral on TikTok before they shut me down and it had like 50 million views. And it was literally, I put my camera up and we woke up my kids at 4 a.m. with a elk call. My husband just sat at the bottom of the stairs and he just elk called to wake up our kids at 4 a.m. Kids never came down. We just sat there for the whole minute and people watched the whole entire video. And then they were so angry that I wasted a minute of their lives. And they commented down below and that video got 50 million views. I had over 50,000 followers on TikTok. Like it was crazy. And then they shut me down. So it's fine though. But um, like, I mean, just do it. You never know what's gonna happen. Like, and when you guys make your first videos, those ones are the ones that Facebook sends to everybody. You know, like I just can't wait till Amanda makes her first one. You think your your phone's blowing up now, girl. When you make your first spoon video, you are gonna have customers for the next six months. No joke. Like it's gonna be seen by everyone if you guys haven't done it yet. And so go to my page, go to Sophie's page. Who else is making videos? Jenna's making live videos every single morning. Megan's making TikToks and reels. Kayla's doing TikToks and reels. 
go find one that you like, comment on it and say, Hey, Tamika, help me recreate this video or send it to me, right? Or send it to Sophie or send it to Megan and say, Hey, will you show me how you did this? This is the video I want to make this week. And we'll teach you, we'll show you, and we'll get you guys started to do it. All right. Sound good. Okay. Thank you so much, Sophie. Thank you everyone for being here. I'll get the recording up. You guys are the best. Bye.